Good morning. Welcome to News 4 Midday. I'm Melissa Malay. We begin with some breaking news from the Washington Commanders. After closing out the year with just four wins, head coach Ron Rivera was fired this morning. It comes as players clean out their lockers for the season. News 4's J.P. Fenley is live in Ashburn with the very latest. Hi, J.P. Hey, Melissa, really no surprise with this morning's news. The Commanders just wrapped up a 4-13 and season, one of the worst in the NFL. Ron Rivera was told by Commanders owner Josh Harris he would be let go. News came down about 8.30 this morning. If you look back at Rivera's tenure here, in four years in Washington, never had a winning season. They did have that playoff appearance his first season, but they were under 500 and lost in the first round. You know, Rivera put out a statement thanking the fans. Rivera has done everything classy and professional in his time in Washington just didn't put enough wins. And when this franchise got sold last summer, you had to figure Josh Harris was going to look to put his own stamp on the organization. For a lot of these players, though, it is an emotional time knowing that Ron Rivera is out. Uh, definitely sad to see, you know, um, you know, when I came to this league, that's, that's been my coach. I mean, six of my seven years, that's been my coach. So I'm forever grateful for everything that he's done. You know, for me and definitely for this team. I feel like this. Everybody in this building, you know, loves Ron Rivera, you know, as a person and all that. Um, but, you know, when you're the leader of the ship, uh, somebody has to go down with it. So that's the one who gets a call all the time. How hard is it now that you know Ron has been dismissed and, you know, this operation's probably going to get reset? Yeah, I mean, yeah, like, it was kind of expected, to be honest with you. So, like, you know, mentally, we kind of knew already, but uh, Mr. Harris said, uh, you know, now it's his job to do, put the people in, in the right position to, to make this a uh, successful team and, they, you know, having the right people in the right places. You hear Sam Cosby say that now it's Josh Harris's turn to put the right people in the right places. Well, Harris is wasting no time. The organization announced this morning that they put together a search firm to find their new head coach, new GM, new head of football operations. That includes Bob Myers, the former general manager of the Golden State Warriors. Obviously, they had a ton of success in the NBA and Golden State. And Rick Spielman, former general manager of the Minnesota Vikings. Now, let me be clear. Those two are not full-time hires. They are not coming here here to be GM and head of operations, but they're going to help Harris find the right people. Already a flurry of interview requests. This thing is moving fast. The Harris group took their time since they took ownership, but they are pressing the gas now, ready to reboot this commander's franchise and hopefully build a winner. All right, J.P. Finley. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, here's a look back right now at the timeline of Ron Thanks. Rivera's rocky tenure with Washington. It started in January of 2020. He was there when the team changed its name to the Washington football team after years of backlash, of course. And he faced more than just battles on the field. In August of 2020, he was diagnosed with cancer. Rivera led Washington to the playoffs in his first season, but lost to Tom Brady in Tampa Bay. The following season was a different story. Washington ended up with a 7-10 record. Then came another big name change to the Washington Commanders. Despite a new name, the Commanders struggled to make the playoffs. They ended last season 8-8-1. Eight, eight, last summer, the Harris Group officially took ownership of the team, but a season of so much promise once again fell short. The news is not coming as a complete shock to Commanders fans who have witnessed yet another losing season with Rivera at the helm. News for Juliana Valencia continuing our team coverage of Rivera's firing with more reaction. So, Juliana, the question is, what's the overall feeling from fans this morning? Hey, good morning, Melissa. You know, no one I talked to was surprised with today's outcome. You know, we had a lot of hope, fans, for this season with new ownership and a win in during the first home game of the regular season. Unfortunately, that was the only win at home. And, you know, I talked to fans over coffee and breakfast this morning at the Silver Diner just down the road, and the majority say their hope is that we can make changes to get back to those glory days. I'd love to see the new ownership group bring us back to the 80s when we had Joe Gibbs and uh, we won three Super Bowls, right? Try to find a coach that's going to energize the team, hire great and, and recruit great people out of the draft, use the free agency to really try to build the team, and I think that'll build, bring back the fan base and help rebuild some of the excitement around Washington. Until they buy themselves a good franchise quarterback, we're not going anywhere. Or a flamboyant coach, someone who draws the attention, gets excitement, and maybe it helps that helps draw 
the, the money to bring the quarter back in. Emulate the Cleveland Browns. And that is get a 38-year-old quarterback in there <laughs> oh. to lead them back from the ledge that they were on and ready to jump off. I hope we follow the model that Josh Harris has used with the 76ers in Philadelphia. <clears throat> and I hope they start at the top. I hope it's with the president or general manager and then work their way down to a, to a coach. I even talked to a Cowboys fan that was at the game last night. He admitted it was brutal watching the Commanders lose by so much knowing what would likely happen today. You know, a lot developing today. And you got to stay with News 4 for the latest updates surrounding the Commanders. That's first at 4. Back to you. All right. Thanks so much, Juliana. Also hard because we all know Ron Rivera is a nice guy.